When I'm sitting around with my girlfriend and my two beagles, I like to have the beagles a lot closer to me. So my girlfriend could say that I'm beagle negative. <laughs> okay, stop. Okay, now share. And then we're moving on to an activity. Try to explain to someone what you drew and why you drew it. What didn't you get? Well, after <laughs> she put hers down, she looked at mine just like, uh, what Shaylee's doing. Well, okay, no, it's not that I don't get it. It's like, I just like how Shaylee explained it. She doesn't know how to Well, that's good. Yeah. That's why we're doing this. Yeah, she understands it. She just doesn't know how to describe it. Yeah, because I'm not a scientist. Well, I bet after this activity and the homework that you have to do, you'll understand it a lot better. Okay, stop. Okay, on to the activity. So. Here's what we're going to be doing. At your lab stations, we have a table of electronegativity values because we can quantitate electronegativity with a number. And the numbers run from, we'll say, 0.7 to 4.0. Okay. If an element or an ion has an electronegativity of 4.0, that's a high electronegativity. If an element or an ion has an electronegativity electronegativity of 0.7, that's a low, okay? Of course, there are some atoms that have zero electronegativity.